What's up guys, Sal here. So we've seen plenty of iPhone 14 leaks and rumors. From a new design to a big battery, we've heard a variety of things. But this might just be the weirdest one yet. You see, ever since Apple started unveiling multiple iPhones, they always included the latest A-series Bionic chip on all the variants. Doesn't matter if it's a mini, regular, or pro variant. That, however, will not be the case this time. Ming-Chi Kuo, a famous Apple analyst, tweeted that there will be some big differences between the regular and pro variants of the iPhone 14. First of all, he mentions there won't be a mini variant this year, which isn't really surprising, considering the iPhone 12 mini and 13 mini didn't live up to Apple's expectations in terms of sales. So replacing the mini is the iPhone 14 Max, which will have a screen size of 6.7 inches. So basically, Apple is shifting to a duopoly of display sizes, two 6.1 inch models with iPhone 14 and 14 Pro, and two 6.8 inch models with the iPhone 14 Max and 14 Pro Max. Now what's weird is the choice of chipsets for the Pro and the regular variants. The new A16 chip will be limited to just the iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max, with the regular 14 and 14 Max retaining the same A15 Bionic chip as last year's iPhone 13 lineup. Not only that, there will be differences in RAM speed as well. The Pro variant will get a faster LPDDR5 RAM, while the regular variants will get the older LPDDR4X. Now, a lot of you must be wondering, why? There are mainly two possibilities. One is the global chip shortage. The A16 chip will be made using the 4 nanometer nodes, and considering Apple's M2 chips are also based on 4 nanometer, there may not be enough throughput for 4 iPhone 14 models and all the M2 chips. The second possibility could be a cost-cutting measure. We just saw yesterday that Apple saved $6.5 billion in one and a half years by not including the charger and the earphones inside the box. Apple knows that no matter what they do, their users will buy their phones. Even if they sell an empty box for $200, it would still sell in millions. Using a year-old 5 nanometer chip means it will be less expensive to produce the new iPhones, and you can be sure that they're not going to pass down these savings to their consumers. Anyway, I see some outlets already saying that it's not a big deal as A15 is already fast enough. You see, while I absolutely agree that most users won't notice any difference in performance between A15 and A16 chips, but you need to keep in mind that these SOCs are more than just benchmarks and speed. For example, the image signal processor in the A-series chips, aka ISP, is generally closely tied to Apple's yearly camera advancements. You might not feel an extra 10-15% to in Geekbench in your regular usage of the phone, but you could notice that the camera on the regular iPhone 14 didn't get much of a year-over-year -year upgrade. And you know what bugs me the most is if this is indeed a cost-cutting measure, then I'm sure Android companies will shamelessly copy this trend to increase their profit margins. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Samsung. Anyway, let me know what you think about this down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.